Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 22, and this is the first war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance called Salentino. I don't believe we've gone up against them before, um, but here's the team that I'm going in with. It's my standard attack team, if you are familiar with my war videos. Uh, Nick Fury, Omega Red, Warlock. They usually handle everyone that I would encounter on my path. All right, so I take path two in section one. It's a, one of the easier paths. One, two, and three are uh, relatively easy compared to some of the other paths in the war. Uh, you can see the nodes that I'm going up against here. Uh, the global is stubborn, which is almost standard. Uh, everybody seems to love taking stubborn. Now, my best stubborn attacker is Nick Fury. He is great for taking out stubborn defenders. Uh, you see that I boosted up. There's no reason not to boost up. We get those boosts so often now that the only time you'll see me not boost up is if I forgot. All right, so I went in here with Omega Red because Black Widow Clairvoyant is not a defensive defender. So I don't have to worry about the stubborn global. And as you can see here, Omega Red is just chewing her up. Uh, if you looked at one of the nodes, you don't gain power normally and you can see that every time she fires a special my power was going down but that did not stop um omega red did it that's why i chose him omega red didn't need to fire off a single special which is great because i run suicides and he is great with suicides and the fact that i tend to not want to fire specials because of the recoil damage played in perfectly there didn't need to all right, so next up, we've got Venom the Duck. Now, neither Black Widow Clairvoyant or Venom the Duck are really powerful defenders. Uh, they're not gonna place their best defenders on these paths because the nodes don't make them very difficult at all. All right, so we're not having a problem. This time I did bring in Nick Fury. Uh, unlike Black Widow Clairvoyant, who started out in the Curse of Blood mode, so she was bleed immune, Venom the Duck is not bleed immune. And so Nick Fury is able to rip him a new one. Now, this is still the life model decoy, but the damage is enough. Okay. And the longer we can keep the life model decoy out, the better it is for me. Because uh, I love having that little extra buffer. All right. Uh, and at the end of the war, that's going to play a very crucial part. It's a very spicy end to this war. All right, so now I would have taken out this uh, domino right there with Warlock, but she wasn't cleared. Uh, and by the time she was cleared, I think the last person in just went ahead and uh, took out the mini as well, which is what usually happens. Okay, now up here, as you'll notice, uh, I am the last one in, so that means um, one of the guys went in first. He used up all of his energy. Uh, the second guy went all the way up as far as they could go. And now I'm coming in. All right. Now, surprisingly enough, and a lot of people don't realize this, but Spider-Man Stark Enhanced is a defensive champion. Believe it or not, it surprised me too. How in the world is he having that defensive tag with the damage that he does, right? But he is. So stubborn applies to him, which is why I brought in Nick Fury. Okay. And I'm just waiting for him to evade, but there he goes, got the evade, but you'll notice how I was kind of staggering my attack a little bit and the bleed just took him out. Nick Fury is a beast. I have deep wounds maxed because of Nick Fury. Since I was going to be using Nick Fury in war, I maxed out deep wounds and well worth it. Very much worth it. All right, so as you can see here, uh, Drini, uh, he was most likely the first one in, uh, and he has no energy at this point. So my next fight is against Guardian. Now, I don't have a whole lot of experience fighting Guardian. All right, so I'm looking here again. You know, you see the globals, they don't change. Uh, but I always like to go down there to remind myself. But Guardian is not bleed immune. Okay. So Nick Fury, he's working him over. 
Just look at the bleed damage. And I was able to get that. That's cool. Um, evading his special, I can do. But every once in a while, you know, whether I just slightly mistime it, I don't know. Um, but usually I can evade it. Now, in Alliance War, a lot of people will not try to evade the specials like that. And look at that. Bleed just took him out. A lot of people won't try to evade the specials because if you mess up, you know, that that is very costly in Alliance War. Um, but I play the way I play. All right. So now the mini is Hit Monkey. And I know how to fight Hit Monkey, Hit Monkey but I'm like, oh, man, uh, who will I use against him? So we come back. And as you can see, Hit Monkey is free. Uh, I look back and I'm like, okay, guess they want me to take him. And so I said, let's do it. All right, so refreshing my memory. You got Buffet. You got that armor up uh, boost. All right, um, you can see there uh, the tags. So we shouldn't have to deal with the stubborn uh, global fighting him. And since it's Buffet, I want to use Warlock. Warlock has a passive heal block. Don't have to worry about the buffet in that case. All right, now, what you see me doing here, I'm parrying him because the infection count, just watch it. See how quickly we got to him being infected? That's because when you parry, you get way more than when you just hit. So that's why I did that, all right? And what you wanna do, you want to just keep baiting out his special one. Okay, it has a very quick evade. You know, the first one, and I'll show you here. Um, he kills me with that uh, heavy. Uh, so you see I'm baiting it out. Don't have to worry about the regen because of the passive heal block. All right, and so uh, once we get him to fire that uh, special off, uh, you'll see if we get him to fire it off. I can't remember if he fired it off one more time because uh, we're also giving a power drain. Okay, boom, and then boom. You have to evade that second part quickly after the first part you evade the first and then evade the second one all right and we got him down normally when i'm using warlock and the champion or the defender that i'm going up against is not bleed immune uh i'll parry and then fire off a heavy attack which will bleed them but with hit monkey you don't want to do that knocking him down something you want to avoid all right so for the final fight we're going to switch over to my live stream because that is where the final fight took place. All right, so sit back and enjoy some spiciness. Show you guys. Two minutes. We should not be at this point with two minutes left, but let me try to do as much as I can. I don't even know. I'm just trying to go in, do as much as I could. Trying to get to the, yeah. And he's done. All right. I had, I actually let myself get hit so that I could um, get to that second uh, life. Okay. Okay, so that was all the fighting that we did in this war. And we'll be right back and you'll find out whether we won or whether we lost this war. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. 
Uh, I don't know if we would have won if we had not gotten that boss down in time, uh, but we did. And so we were able to pull out the victory. Now, uh, before we end, I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about uh, the ending of the war. So if you go back in the video, you'll notice that we had, um, I think, a little over two hours left. And my guys were relatively healthy. You know, I take uh, easier paths. So unless I really mess up, I'm usually in fairly good shape. I took one mini uh, on the left. And then when I got to Mini Boss Island, I waited for instructions. Now, uh, things have changed in my alliance and different, you know, officers have different styles. One of the things that I was used to is being told to wait. Don't go rushing ahead and just taking a fight that you think you can take. Let the officers scout it out, look at the health of the champions and everything, and then make a decision. And then they would say, hey, I think your warlock would be good for this fight. Or I think your um, Nick Fury can take this fight. Okay. They also have a better understanding of everyone's rosters and, you know, attack rosters. So they know if someone else has the perfect counter, even if I have a good counter, but maybe that perfect counter, they got hurt or wrecked in one of the more difficult fights. And so now I'm the best option for that. And so basically we were told to wait. Well, that's changing now. And what happens now uh, is that it looks bad. Now, I want you to notice that uh, on the live stream, uh, if you were here, you'll know that no one came and asked me to come help. I had no idea. Now, some would say, well, you should be checking uh, at the end of the war uh, to make sure. And that's true. Uh, but for a long time, years now, I have uh, live streamed at the same time, every day, Monday through Friday. Uh, everyone knows where I'm, where I am at that time. Unlike some others who could be doing something else, they could be working or whatever, they know where I am. And so when it comes critical like that, they could jump on the stream and say, hey, we need you to um, help uh, get the boss down. Uh, they've done that in the past, and I have always answered. I may grumble and complain, but I always answer, and I always go, okay? This time was an exception. Uh, I had just finished a grueling round one and two grind, and so I was sort of unfocused, and I was like, mm, not really feeling like jumping right back into the arena, and so I happened to go look at my line messages, just looking for distractions. And I saw this. That's how I was able to jump in there like that. Uh, not because anyone came and asked me, you know, to come help. Uh, but in any case, it's just different styles, you know, learning to work with uh, others. Now uh, we are being told to just take the initiative and go ahead and uh, jump into a fight if we think that we can take it. All right. So. Uh, and, and now imagine if I had not happened to check, what would that have looked like if you didn't know that I live stream all the time and everything and you came and you saw, hey, look, he's got champions that are, you know, near full health and he hasn't used any items and we needed help on the boss. That looks really bad for me, doesn't it? OK, but a lot of people that I've. Um, played with they already know my schedule and they know all of that but there's quite a few new folks that don't anyway uh just wanted to talk a little bit about that i'll talk more about that uh in another video all right but that's going to do it for this war video first war of the season we got her done all right so uh take care click like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day